be um, this is just a short video um, to show something interesting that uh, we discovered. We've uh, basically have a start capacitor, run capacitor motor. So what we've done, we've left the start capacitor in place, but we've disconnected the run capacitor, and um, we're going to try because what we uh, the run capacitor was. 25 microfarads. Um, when we connected a 50 microfarad capacitor, um, we get some real weird uh, belt vibration, belt slapping. It's difficult to uh, to describe. So I thought a video might uh, might be um, might be better. So we'll just switch on. As you can see, it's running fairly um, fairly well. Our, oh, by the way, with the capacitor off, we've reduced our wattage down to 241 watts uh, with a power factor of uh, 50 here. the frequency, I'm sorry. 26. Um, right. Now then, I'm just going to show you what happens when we connect. Look at the belt. Remove the capacitor. In fact, you can hear the tone change. Oh, by the way, when this capacitor is on, it's uh, it's actually pulling nearly a kilowatt. Uh, <laughs> well, just wondering if anybody knows what's actually happening there. Anyway, thank you. We're going to see if we can prove the Harold Aspen effect. Um, so, just to start things going, uh, my son's going to warm up the uh, plumber blocks or pillow blocks, depending on where you come from. Uh, In case people think might think that uh, the first run could be caused by, um, you know, the grease being a little more sticky, or uh, but the plant is uh, actually indoors. Uh, we got uh, washed out of the shed a few days ago, so we brought it inside. So ambient temperature has been around 18 Celsius. Uh, about 68 Fahrenheit um, so it's pretty warm anyway but we're just going to give things a bit more of a chance just doing the back one that's our new little uh, DC motor that we fitted uh, a couple of days ago 200 watt 24 volt Four pole flywheel is 12 inches in diameter, and I forgot what the weight is now. Um, about 25 kilo, isn't it? I think so, about 25 kilo profit, probably. Um, and anyway, just uh, give things a bit of a warm up, so that looks about right now, I think. Um, now that we're uh, powering it with a my little bench power supply, which is actually only capable of 20 volts uh, at 6 amps, so uh, effectively when we first switch on, um, the current limit will just um, um, just keep its things going constantly until uh, 
and there's our handheld tackle and that's what we're going to use we're going to um, we found that the top speed uh, is 992 I think RPM um, and that's what we're going to base our timing with so are we ready to proceed Go. 9.85 at 40.6. Let me just get a better view of the. No, I can't see the stopwatch at all. 40.6. So we'll just let it run for a minute or two. Oops, sorry about that, guys. As you can hear, everything's running very smoothly. The remains of my Sprad clutch bearing are down there and underneath the... Uh, <laughs> it's actually exploded. Okay, and we'll let the power go now. Let it wind down. to rest and we'll immediately fire up Remind me, what was the previous one? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, good scientists, aren't we? Can't even remember what we've done. Um, okay. Just let it run for a bit. And then try another one. Big flywheel isn't in use for this test. We're still working out what we're going to do with the, um, the coupling. Let's, uh, 
as you can see, pulling just under 60 watts. And we'll go for a final run up. Okay. One point of fact, the uh, RPM hasn't come up either. Strange. Okay, well, this might be a bust. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Thanks for watching.